Welcome back to Math 104. We begin video set number 9. Once again, we reach a point in the course where a little bit of comic relief is in order. The Monty Hall problem is a classic puzzle. It's based on a game show, but there's a probability question built into it, which many very, very smart people actually got wrong the first time they saw it. It's named after Monty Hall, who was the host of a game show called Let's Make a Deal. Here's how the game works. Suppose that you are a contestant on a game show. There are three closed doors in front of you. Door number one, door number two, door number three. Behind one door is a car. You have no idea which door has the car behind it. And behind each of the other doors is a goat. We're going to assume here that you do want the car and you don't want the goats. The host asks you to choose one of the three doors. This is your initial guess as to which door has the car behind it. Let's say we pick door number one. That's our initial guess. Now Monty Hall, the host, takes one of the other two doors and opens one of them, revealing a goat. So it's always one of the doors that we have not originally picked that is opened, and it's always a goat that shows up when the host opens that door. Now here's the interesting part. The host now offers us a choice. We can either stay, which means stick with our original guess of door number one, or we can switch to door number two. Now here's the crucial set of questions. Is it to your advantage to switch your choice of doors? Is it better if you stay with your original choice of doors? Or does it not even matter whether you switch your choice of doors? Now think about this for a minute. Which do you think is correct? Do you think it's better to switch? Do you think it's better to stick with your original choice, or do you think it doesn't matter? Take a moment and think about that. As first reactions go, some people think it's better to switch, some, though not as many, think it's better to stay with the original choice, and very many people will say that it really doesn't matter. And the argument for it not mattering is that while we know it's not door number three that has the car behind it, so the car must be behind door number one or door number two, and there's no basis for thinking that it's one or the other, therefore it doesn't matter. Before we get into which one of these is correct, let's experiment. What happens if I stay? Oh, I ended up with the goat. Let's try again. I'll pick door number one again. Now I'm going to try switching. Oh, I got the goat. All right. I'm going to try again. I picked door number one. And I'm going to switch, and I got a goat. Oh, I keep getting the goat. Notice how this is keeping track of the results. Every time I switch doors, the results get recorded here, and every time I stay with my original door, the results get recorded down here. So far, with switching, I've gotten no cars, and I've ended up with two goats. Staying with the original choice, I've gotten no cars and one goat. So I'm not finding out very much from this trial thus far. Before going on to the next video, use the Monty Hall simulator that we were just working with at this website. You're going to need to do this for the homework, so please be sure to write down the results of your experiments. First, play 12 times, always staying with your initial choice of door, and record what fraction of the time you end up winning the car as a result of staying with your initial choice. This web page will tally the results for you. If you click on Click Here to Stay, and you end up with a goat, that result is recorded, and the proportion correct is also recorded. So if I keep playing, and I keep staying, so far I've lost twice, I keep going, I, I stay, aha! So now I've just won one car and two goats in three trials, so the proportion correct is one-third. That's being recorded here. So play 12 times where you always stay, then play 12 times, always switching your choice of door, and record what fraction of the time you win the car. Finally, based on your results, is it better to stick with the door you choose initially, or is it better to switch to the other closed door, or does it not even matter? 